more for you. Another song about death. This is my song. All my stories are about dicks, and my songs are about death. Dicks and death. That's what I'm into. That's what I came here for. you came here for. Dicks and death. Tell us more about dicks and death. Um, but uh, so I was telling you about this uh, thing I did called Life and Song. It's like a podcast type thing. You can find it, you know, wherever you go for your podcast. Uh, but it's called The Life and Song, and uh, yeah, so I got uh, people to tell me their stories. So when I sent out the, you know, put the word out, invited people, uh, the guy that got to me almost immediately, the, like the most enthusiasm, uh, was this guy named Dan, and Dan. Dan's story was uh, basically that uh, they had four, you know, like four months to live. And uh, I was like, oh shit, they schedule that interview sooner rather than later. I'm just joking. But yeah, he was like, yeah, I got, to, so I was like, wow, that's that's pretty intense. So uh, yeah, so we, 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 we had a conversation and uh, so Dan, I'll tell you a little bit about Dan. Um, so he's like in his late fifties. He's got terminal cancer. He's been dealing with this shit like his whole life. Finally, he's like, you know, just says fucking stops uh, the treatments and works it out with his doctor so that uh, you know when his when his numbers get to a certain level, you know, the doctor will assist assist in his. Uh, do that in California, I guess. That's, uh... So he had the day, you know, he had like his Spotify playlist all worked out, you know. He had the whole day sort of planned out, so we talked about that. And uh, anyway, and he, so yeah, he's gonna die, and he's embraced it. You know, he's embraced his fate so uh, so completely, and he's uh, he sold his house, he bought an RV, he's parked it in the desert in Utah somewhere. He's like surrounded by uh, rescue animals. He found some kind of animal shelter that he can just hang out in, and that's where he's spending his last days. And he's, you know, he's like, oh, you know, fuck it, man. He's smoking a bunch of weed, and he's drinking, and he's been playing his guitar, and he's writing all these amazing songs, and he's working on his novel. Like he was uh, just full of joy, you know. He was just almost giddy with this kind of freedom, you know, just uh, in his last few. A few months. It was kind of amazing, you know, talking to him, very inspiring. Cool dude. Uh, so I wrote him a song. I made him a song, uh, and I uh, took a couple weeks, you know, I sent it back to him, and he wrote me and said, "Oh man, I can't believe it. You know, I'm so excited to hear the song." But I promised my friend that we'd listen to it together, and she's back in San Diego, and she's got a bunch of mushrooms. So we're planning to go back, and we're gonna, I'm gonna take like a bunch of mushrooms. And, they do this big trip, you know, big little Sabbath thing, and then they listen to the song. Anyway, so then you know, we were planning to talk again once he had done all that, and uh, so I waited to hear back from him. You know, a week went by, you know, like another week went by, and I just didn't hear anything. So you know, I emailed him, and I never heard back from him again. So uh, I like to play this song that I made for Dan, you know, wherever he may be. Uh, I'll play it for you now. It goes like this. Check it out. Well, at least there is bourbon. At least there is weed. Even mushrooms if you need. A tiny little empty eyes. Staring back at you, Angel Canyon at night has the darkest of skies. It's quieter than death. Seemed as good a place as any form. Drawing your last breath, cause you can't run. When it's your own bodies 
time to die As you well know It's painfully clear So make some sweet old song be The last thing